Hello everyone, Al here. It's a cloudy, rainy day today, but I'm still fantastic. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Just before I get started today, I have a little something here for you first. Knock knock. Who's there? Leon. Leon who? Leon me, when you're not strong. <laughs> Get it? Leon me sounds like Lean on me, which is a popular song by Bill Withers that came out in 1972. All right guys, so today, we're going to go over 10 crazy and fun ways to practice English when you are by yourself. Just a quick message, number one is my absolute favorite way of practicing while alone. You will absolutely love it, I promise. So make sure to stay and watch to the end to find out what it is. Some of these questions may be crazy, but hey, I warned you in the title already. Number 10. Call companies and ask them questions. Now just a quick note here, you never want to call the same business twice. Be kind and ask real questions regarding the business. Call restaurants and start by saying, Hi, how are you doing today? I was just wondering, does your Alfredo pasta contain any mushrooms? Or, when is last call? Call clothing stores and confirm online deals. You can say, hello, how's it going? Is the spring deal sale still going on? Any proper questions you have about a business, just give them a call and you can start practicing. This is a fun free way to practice your speaking ability while also learning about businesses around you. You might find a new favorite restaurant or a real great deal. Number 9. Use Hello Talk and try to make 3 friends. This is like a social media app to practice languages. You can comment on other people's photos and introduce yourself. You might make cool friends whom you can practice English with on a normal basis. It's fun, a little crazy, but hey, your English will improve. Number 8. Play MMORPG. Online games like World of Warcraft and make friends. This is a fun one. Some of these online games are free to play and requires teamwork. You can definitely have fun while using English to communicate and make new friends. Just be careful not to get too addicted to the game itself. That's a rabbit hole you probably don't want to go down. Number 7. Start a podcast. Start a podcast for free and start talking on a topic that you're interested in. It's a ton of fun and you'll be practicing your English at the same time. If you do this for 365 days in a row, you'll be surprised how good your speaking abilities will get. You might also get some fans along the way. Number 6. Go on Reddit and start answering questions. There are hundreds and thousands of interesting questions online at Reddit. You can go on and start reading some of these questions and giving a thoughtful response to them. This will practice your ability to read and creatively write. Reddit users pose very interesting questions so you can get glued to your computer for a while, in a good way. Number 5. Start a YouTube channel and start
start a blog or something. Grab your smartphone and start a blog detailing parts of your day. Similar to the podcast. If you do this for 365 days, your ingenuity with English will skyrocket. If you feel shy at first, just set your settings onto private. Number four, start a journal in English and write your life plan. Grab a pencil or pen, an empty notebook, and start writing your life plan down. This is not only good for your English, but for your life as well. You have to think long and hard here. Make your thoughts in English as well. Number three, make a list of everything you have at home. What better way to improve your vocabulary on general things than making a list of everything you have at home? It might seem simple, and you may think you know everything already, but you'll be surprised to know how much you don't know. Like the song goes in Disney's Pocahontas, you'll learn things you never knew. You never knew. Number two. Ask yourself 10 questions in English, then try to find the answer using Google. I love this method. Do you know what squirrels do in winter? How do they survive? What's the lifespan of a lion in the wild versus in captivity? You may have hundreds or even thousands of interesting questions stored between your ears. Jot some of them down in English and use Google to find the answer. Have fun with this one. Last but not least, my favorite way to practice English when I'm alone at home. Number one, use Siri and ask questions. Technology has improved to the point where you can speak to it and it'll speak back. Like me, I'm a robot, talking. Your smartphone is like a robot too. Speak to it. Practice your introduction and question asking skills. You have a ton of fun, improve your English, and who cares if it makes you look a little crazy? You're home alone anyways. That's it for today folks. 10 crazy and fun ways to practice English when you're alone at home. Which ones are your favorite? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in order to keep up with my journey. Thanks again today, and I'll see you in the next video.